What's going on YouTube? So um, today, oh, the Mazda's got to, uh, I gotta check it out. There's been some funny noises going on with it and we're gonna try to figure out what's going on. Um, I thought it was the valve timing uh, or whatever, the timing chain. And uh, we pulled the valve cover off and checked it out and a guy that I know said that it doesn't look bad. So we're guessing it's not that. Uh, the next thing to check out is the AC compressor, and the only way to do that is going to be pull the serpentine belt off. We've got a access port now. My car is filthy, but um, yeah, I'm not running any tune right now. i got to make sure everything's okay. Get the high-pressure fuel pump and a few other odds and ends. I'll be making some videos about that in the future, but um, yeah, got an access port now, so we're one step ahead of the game. Um, yeah, so my buddy ended up not, he's not going to be home, so I can't really jack up my car here because I'm, I've got gravel and I still do not have boards to be able to pull my car into the, the building, so guess what I'm going to be doing is I did an EGR delete and I've researched it. There's no reason that this should be the cause of it, but basically my idle is dropped down to where when uh, it's out of gear, I'm getting like 500 RPMs, so that's definitely not right. Um, they say the EGR doesn't cause that. As far as I've researched, I've done a ton of research. Um, I went straight blow off valve. I'm gonna go back to bypass valve or diverter or whatever you want to call it with the uh, HKS. So that's something I'm going to be doing today. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be pulling the serpentine to figure out what that noise is, unfortunately. So is what it is. So here in this lovely mess, oh, I've got a turbo inlet hose and a new intake on the way too, but so I don't know how well we can see down there. Part of the EGR tube is in there. The other piece screws on underneath this uh, intercooler piping right there. I'm hoping I don't have to pull the battery box this time I might uh, I'm hoping I can just pull off the intake and be able to get to what I need to right there so that I can put that hose back on and then I will have to pull the inner cooler back off and I need a new one of these bad so I've got the inner cooler off now it exposes all your coil packs and I gotta pull that off and I might clean my throttle body while I do it I don't know if I'm gonna need to remove that or not so I may have gotten lucky because where I need to go is like right in there, but I did drop a bolt down here, so that's gonna be uh, the next target. Uh. You having fun? Uh. Well, I put the EGR tube back in. Um, kind of forgot to film the process. I got more subtracted, subtracted, sidetracked with just uh, getting it installed and less, less worried about filming. But uh, it's in and my idle's back to normal, so that's always cool. That little vent thing is not gonna stay like that. I'm either gonna put a scoop there, or I'm going to get a vent that's more like an Evo style and blend it. Uh, it's not just stuck on. This is actually, well, you can't really see, but. That actually goes through and it does release a lot of heat.